Hi guys, it's Rachel. So it is now time for part two of my May favorites and my first part of my favorites, my beauty favorites, went for a while because I decided to babble on so I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible. However, saying that now, probably don't worry because this video always goes for a ridiculous long time but I will try and keep it as short as possible. And to do that, I'm going to start off with book favorites because that is always what takes me the longest and I'm going to try and get through them as quick as possible because I actually thought I didn't have that many book favorites this month because there was a period sort of in the middle where I did didn't really get a chance to read because I went away and usually that would mean I get to read more but because I was so busy I actually didn't really read and then I looked at all the books that I read and I actually have tons so in saying that let's start the first uh, two books that I have are by Rebecca Donovan and the first one is called Reason to Breathe and the second one is called Barely, Barely Breathing and I'm really looking forward to the third book and I hope it comes out soon because the second one ended on a cliffhanger actually the first one did too but I read them one after the other so that was fine but they're really really great books they're young adult I guess that you would call it maybe more older young adult but they deal with some like really harsh issues um the first book has like oh actually both books they have issues of domestic abuse and there's just some parts like the aunt in the book is just horrible like you don't even know I've read other books that have these kind of issues in it and there's kind of like a reasoning why but you just there's some parts of this book I was like cringing I'm like I have no idea why I'm reading this because this, this person is horrible and like I don't know whether to cry or even believe if people can actually be like that but I was just intrigued by the story and I kept on wanting to read it and the second book was um, it, the first one ended on a cliffhanger and the second book was great also even though I was kept on getting frustrated with the main character because she um, made some silly decisions and and I don't know why she didn't love the male in it because well she did but why she was kind of anyway read the books because I think you'll really really like them and um, if you do read them let me know if you're hanging on the edge for the third one as well because I really really am uh, the next one that I have here is Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins I really really like this book I found this through Twitter, um, I can't remember which author it was that I was following, but she tweeted about it because I find that a lot of the authors that I read tend to, especially the ones that like um, are self-published or uh, indie kind of or new writers that publish strictly to Kindle or ebooks to begin with until they can actually get their other books, pu like books published in paperback or whatever, um, they tend to tweet about books that they're reading and I found Sweet Evil and I really, really liked it and I really hope that there's a, another one coming out this one was a um it's like a paranormal kind of young adult again book which I think you'll really really enjoy so I recommend checking that out I also read the Brenna Blixen series by Liz Reinhart so there's Double Clutch then there is ooh, what's the second one called Junk Miles and then Slow Twitch and this one's basically a contemporary um young adult or older young adult series. I really, really enjoyed it. The second book I got really, really frustrated with Brenna. I, I really love the story. It has a love triangle and sometimes love triangles really, really frustrate me because I don't know, I just get really, really frustrated with them. Um, unless there's like one guy that you absolutely know she's going to go with. So kind of like Twilight because I never thought that Bella was ever going to go with Jacob. There's just, to me, that was just, there was no Team Jacob because she was always going to pick Edward. So I don't mind when it's like that, but when you can't decide which guy you like, that frustrates me. This book wasn't so much I picked the guy that I liked. Um, it was more her and her indecision that bugged me, but that also made me want to keep on reading and in the end I really really enjoyed the story and I recommend it to you guys who just like contemporary young adult novels because I think you'll really like them and they were written really well and I did as a general rule like Brenna the main character and the two guys as well so they're books that I definitely recommend. Uh, the next series that I had was the Providence series by Jamie McGuire. She actually wrote the book A Beautiful Disaster which I absolutely love and I've recommended in favourites videos before and I have no idea why I didn't read the Pro hadn't read the Providence series but I realised that I hadn't so I went back and read them. There was three books. So the first one's called Providence, the second one's called Requiem and the third one's called Eden and I really really like this story. Again this one had a um, paranormal or supernatural twist to it but I also liked the, how you it, it was older young adults so it kind of went from like I guess college age to not um, but I liked the, the span of the story how you kind of got to see the characters progress I loved all the characters I loved the way it was written and I highly recommend it which is I don't know why I keep on saying that because obviously I highly recommend all the books that I'm telling you guys about but I 
feel like I need to say it anyway. And I really like Jo Maguire. I can't wait to read more from her because I really like her writing style in general. Another book that I read was Gabriel's Rapture by Sylvian Raynard. I can't remember whether I actually um, mentioned Gabriel's Inferno in the previous favorites video. I don't know if I did, but I probably should have because I really liked both books. This one is more um, definitely older. I would call it more adult. I wouldn't recommend it for people um, maybe like I don't know, just to be safe under 16 or 17 because I don't want people to get in trouble, but it's just because it has more adult themes. But I really liked the story overall, and um, again, it was like a contemporary, more adult uh, romance novel. What else do I have here? I also read Tempting the Best Man by Jay Lynn, and I really, really liked that story. Uh, Chance Encounters by Jay Sterling. I liked that also. Again, that was kind of like a young adult book. The only, my only issue with that is that it kind of ended too quickly. I wanted to um, read more or hear more. Another book that I literally just finished that I highly recommend is Easy by Tamara Weber. Um, I haven't actually read her other books, but I do know that they come highly recommended her Between the Lines series. I have just read Easy, but I fell in love with it. It was a fantastic contemporary young adult or older, I guess you'd call them mature young adult stories. These ones that are kind of set around like either really late high school or college kind of age groups. So um, this was set in college, so I liked that. So the last couple of books that I read, one of them was My Heart for Yours by Jolene Perry and Stephanie Campbell. I really liked this story. It was a sweet story. It kind of showed you a before and after, or not before and after, but it, it went back in time. So you, you saw the now and you heard bits about this couple from now and then you heard bits about this couple from before when they met, when they were going out and things like that. So it was a really, really nice, sweet story. The last book that I read this month was called In Honor by Jesse Kirby. And I liked this story. This one was kind of different for me because even though it did have a a romantic plot line in it. You didn't actually get to see too much, I guess, once the couple got together, which is kind of odd for me. This one was more about a, I guess, a personal growing up kind of story. It was actually quite sad in certain parts at the start. I was crying because of the whole storyline, but it was really, really sweet and really well written, and I liked that one. Also, but moving on to some other random favourites, um, song favourites for this month. Again, I have quite a few because I made quite a long playlist for when I went away because I'm used to being able to download music whenever I want. But I knew that I was going to be away from a computer and from internet connection and things like that. And I'd be travelling, so I wanted to have um, some music to listen to. So I might even try and make you guys a playlist on YouTube just so you guys can check out some of the songs that I've been loving. But I have White Dress by Ben Rector. Um, Run For Your Life by The Fray, By Your Side by Lifehouse, uh, How We Do Party by uh, Rita Ora, um, Galaxy by Jessica Malboy featuring Stan Walker, A Thousand Years by Christina Pereri. This is kind of an old one, but I've had it in a recent playlist. Same with um, Summer Paradise by The Simple Plan, but also the uh, Sean Paul remix, I guess. Cry by Kelly Clarkson, uh, Ride This Feeling by Kate Miller-Heike, Domino by Jessie J, Plans by Birds of Tokyo, do, do, do. so many, so emotional, the Glee uh, version with uh, Rachel and Santana, I really, really liked that, Lego House by Ed Sheeran, uh, Call It What You Want by Foster the People, So Good by B.O.B., Never Let You Go by Florence and Machine, Whistle by Flo Rida, and Payphone by Maroon 5, I absolutely loved all those songs, I love Payphone, I love the lyrics in that, um, but I highly recommend all those songs if you guys are looking for some new music. And like I said, I'll try and either list them below or even make you a YouTube playlist so you guys can just listen to them and see if there's any that you would like to listen to. Other things, TV shows. Again, fairly similar TV shows that I've been loving. I've been loving Offspring. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. It's an Australian TV show. But I love that show and it's one of the few Australian sheet TV shows that I really, really like. Um, so I've been loving that. I also caught up on the Vampire Diaries, which, oh my god, that's all I can say about the ending. If you haven't seen it yet, um, I can't wait until the next season. I'm really, really excited to see how that plays out. And I also watched and caught up with the end of Grey's Anatomy, which I am devastated about, let's just say. Um, I'm not going to give any way any spoilers for those of you, especially in Australia, if you watch In Line with Australia, we haven't actually seen the finale yet. But yes, I am devastated and Shonda Rhimes really knows how to pull on your heartstrings and make you cry because basically I was bawling my eyes out. But I really love Grey's Anatomy and I am waiting for that to start again. 
And then other shows that I'm about to catch up on, I have to catch up on Once Upon a Time, and I've been loving Revenge, and what else? Two Broke Girls. I think I mentioned that last month, but I just find that really funny. Same with New Girl. And yeah, I recommend them. If you have any new rec TV recommendations, especially ones that are coming on, I know that the ratings period, I guess, for America has kind of ended, so they're in like summer television programming. So if you have any shows that are just popping up um, recently now, then let me know. Or if you're excited about new shows that will start in the fall for the States and spring for Australia. So I'm excited about that. Other random favourites, because again, this video is getting long. One of them, I guess a food favourite, is these Slim Fruit. Uh, I guess they're called sugar-free, fat-free, high fibre. I guess they're like little lollies. They look like this, and it started to rain really bad. I'm not, I'm not loving the rain. Sorry if that's like affecting the sound. I hope you guys can't hear it, but it's raining really loud. Um, I don't know. These are just like little pastilly kind of lollies. They are good when like I am can't have lunch. Like so, if it's like eleven quarter past 11 I know I don't really want to have lunch until at least 12 o'clock and I'm a little bit hungry I'll have one or two of these and they're just I don't know they tide you over they taste really good if I've got like a funny taste in my mouth I may just have one of these instead of chewing some gum I like both flavors this is the uh, luscious rhubarb and strawberry and they can also get the peach melba I usually just buy one and alternate because I really like both of them and moving on for app favorites I don't have necessarily have a brand new app favorite Instagram I am still in love with I absolutely love Instagram if you want to follow me on Instagram my name is Rachel Jade so R-A-C-H-A-E-L J-A-D-E um, because I post pictures on there fairly regularly. But I love looking at other people's pictures and I just think, I don't know, it's fun. It's kind of like Twitter, but you're guaranteed a picture. And then the other thing that I've been loving, which is kind of old, but I've been enjoying playing with it anyway, is pick collage, which is basically like a little thing where you can tap and make, like, ooh, no thank you, I don't want to remind you. Remind you, I don't want to rate you. So you just make like little collages of pictures and things like that. It's really, really fun. So I've been enjoying those. I think I like picture apps the most lately. I also like Label Dispenser, which is another one where it's basically you can just add like little labels onto your photos and images and things like that, which again can make them really, really cute. So they're my app favorites this month. And I think that's pretty much it for my random favourites. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to talk about. Oh, I had two movie favourites that I actually got to got to mention last month. One of them was The Avengers. I loved The Avengers. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I definitely recommend it. It's a great date movie, I think, because or like to go with your boyfriend or a guy friend or whatever, because it's a movie that a guy will actually like, which I also guarantee or... I think that a lot of girls would like also. So it's a great movie that you can go and see as a group of friends as well. Like you know sometimes when you go out with guys that it's hard to pick a movie because you like you want to see like the next movie that I'm about to mention, which is the lucky one, which is another favourite of mine. Um, and they don't want to see that. Whereas Avengers, you guys can both see it and I guarantee you'll like it. And then like I said, the other movie favourite from last month was the lucky one. I really, really enjoyed that. And I haven't actually seen I don't know if I've seen any movies this month that I really, really enjoyed a figure worth mentioning, but I am looking forward to seeing uh, what to expect when expecting. That looks really funny. So that is it from me for my random favourites. Let me know in the comments below if you have any book recommendations, song recommendations, TV recommendations, movie recommendations, food recommendations, because I love food recommendations, anything like that. I'd love to hear from you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will see you all in my next video coming very, very soon. Bye.